Hello there, I'm the Ocarina Boy. So recently I got a question about um, should I buy a plastic ocarina or a ceramic ocarina as my first instrument? So in this video I will be comparing this, the Nye by Noble Plastic Alta C Ocarina, to this, the STL Ocarina of Time. Now the main selling point of plastic ocarinas is that they are cheaper. So let's compare the prices. This one cost me about 30 euros while this one cost me about 60 euros. Secondly, plastic ocarinas are way more durable than ceramic ocarinas. I mainly bought this one so that I could just throw it into my bag and not worry about it. If I were to do that with this one, I would have to buy a new one every week. Yeah, this thing feels really solid. I really like how it's got some weight to it. Uh, and seriously, when I first uh, took this out of the box, I for a second thought that I'd accidentally bought a ceramic ocarina. Now the most important aspect is probably how they sound. So here's a comparison. Let me know which recording you think belongs to which ocarina. Did you get it right? In my opinion, the STL sounds better. The Nye by Noble sounds a bit airy on the high notes, but I'm still really impressed with how it sounds. Still though, I've gotta give it to the STL. Next up, the cleaning process. Here, plastic ocarinas definitely have an edge. For ceramic ocarinas, you have to use a thin strip of paper, put it inside the mouthpiece and start getting out of the gunk out. In the meantime, you can just hold a plastic ocarina underneath a running tap. For ceramic ocarinas, I would not recommend that because in tap water there is chalk and that can start building up inside of the uh, ocarina. For plastic ocarinas, this isn't really a problem. But yeah, don't wash your ceramic ocarina with water. One disadvantage of plastic ocarinas that I found is um, that after playing for a while, a lot of condensation starts building up inside. Now this also happens with ceramic ocarinas, but it's not really as big of a problem because uh, most of the condensation gets absorbed by the walls of the ocarina. Plastic doesn't do that though, so the uh, condensation doesn't really have anywhere to go except for the holes. Especially the sound hole is a place where you might find some liquid leaking out. <laughs> And also with a lot of condensation inside, the ocarina will sound more airy and the higher notes are harder to play. So, which one is better for beginners? Well, that's for you to decide. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, so it, it all really comes down to preference. For plastic ocarinas, I would definitely recommend this one, the Night by Noble. Um, but I would also recommend uh, Focalink plastic ocarinas. For ceramic ocarinas, the SGL is a great choice. Uh, but I would also recommend Songbird and uh, again Focalink. Well, good luck choosing your first ocarina and thank you so much for watching to the end. See ya!